What would a man who hasn't originally bought 56 Ford use as his daily driver? Well, a 1938 Lincoln Zephyr with a 396 Chevy Big Block, of course. Mike has the inside scoop on that, as well as a cool modified Volkswagen Bug. The cars are awesome, but the stories are better. Next on What's in the Garage. It's time for a journey around America in search of the hidden gems, rare finds, and unbelievable collections in the garages of the country's auto enthusiasts. Each week, Mike Phillips will lead us through the amazing, fascinating, and entertaining backstories that make up What's in the Garage. Presented by AutoGeek.net. Hi, are you Fred Dotson? I'm Fred Dotson. My name is Mike Phillips. I'm with the TV show called Auto Geeks What's in the Garage, and I want to know what's in your garage. Come on in, we'll show you. Okay. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. What about you? Oh, really good. Hey, what do you got over here? Well, got a lot of stuff. Got a couple of bikes we built. You built those yourself? Yeah, the, the one uh, on the left there, the, we got a motor out of the junkyard and a bunch of pipe and put it together. What else you got in here? I see you got an old Ford Motor sitting here on the cherry picker. Yeah, that thing, friend gave it to me. I'm going to use it for pieces. It's uh, busted and we're going to fix it. Okay. Well, what else you got in here? I see a lot of stuff. Well, come on back through here and we'll see. See an old blazer back there? Go ahead. I'll yeah. follow you. We just got a bunch of junk, basically. Stuff we work with. Wow, what's Step this? this pile up. This looks like a Lincoln Zephyr. It is. That is beautiful. What's the story with this? That's a long story. Long story, huh? Where'd you find this at? There's a friend of mine that uh, went up in uh, Moscow, Michigan. He bought some old cars and he found this one up there. He told me about it and I just uh, bought it sight unseen. Pulled it in here and we we restored it and put it into what it is now. Wow, that's beautiful. The black paint really does the body lines justice. Yeah, there's been a lot of work on in it. Now, is this all original? No, no. No. It's got a big block in it. A big block. Mustang front end. Yeah. Uh, it's been completely redone. Okay. I see we got a Jaguar back here. Yeah, it belongs to a friend of mine. We're restoring it for him over a period of time. What year is this? I think if I know, I think about a 60, 67. Yeah, it looks like a 60s era. I see you got another car back here in progress. That's a, another Lincoln Zephyr we're redoing for a fella. So you got two Lincoln Zephyrs in here. Right. That one, uh, that one will go back original. Well, there's just so much cool stuff in this garage. I looked over here and I see you got a couple antique model cars. There's the uh, famous Chrysler turbine car. Right. Yes. Just just probably just waiting there to get rebuilt, huh? Right. Yeah. <laughs> Old yeah. heister. You got your metal polishers over here and your grinders. You got a fully functioning garage here. This is nice. We, we've got a lot of junk in here. Can we take a look at the motor? Yeah. What kind of engine? You say you got a big block in there. It's got a 396 Chevrolet. 396 big block Chevy, huh? Now, what did these come with originally? A uh, V12. A V12. That's pretty unique for something this old. 1938, right? Yeah. This thing is, uh, it's been all over the country, but we, uh... Got a special little tool there? This. Yep, you stuffed a 396 big block Chevy in there. I like the little adjuster you got here for your air conditioning and your alternator. That's pretty slick. Yeah, How that's that? easy. That makes the adjustment a lot easier on them. Yeah, interesting idea. I've never seen that before. Now these things, if I remember correctly, they got a really cool looking dash on them. It's got two glove boxes. Two glove boxes, yep. One above the steering column and one on the passenger side. You put like a modern interior in here too. These seats look really nice. What'd these come out of? That, those seats are out of uh, uh, Mercury Grand Marquis. Okay. You want to be comfortable when you're driving this around, huh? 
very fun. You want to be comfortable when you're driving this oh, around. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's nice. Nice fit. Should I put the uh, light model gauges in it? Sure. Well, Fred, you've really done a great job of restoring this car. I got to ask you, did you do a frame off restoration when you rebuilt this? Nope, you can't do a frame off because of the unitized body and it's welded on. You mean the body from the factory is welded right to the frame? Right. So in order to get the body off, you'd have to cut it off. You have to cut, you have to cut it loose from the frame to take it off. And you can't go beyond this either. This don't come off. Just doesn't unbolt. All you unbolt is a hood and a fender. That's it, huh? And the rest well, of a, it is welded together. Well, it's a beautiful car. You've done a great job on it. Can we take a look inside the trunk? What do you uh, got inside here? If I can find the keys. Boy, these have such beautiful body lines. You know, they got the fender skirts, a really long sloped down back end on them. It's got the split rear window. Those fender skirts, they are original. They come on the car. Yeah. Well, they're beautiful. It's like this beautiful teardrop style to them. You now, back here, I've just got a bunch of junk laying in here. If you'd have told me I could have. Got a nice old tool chest, kind of goes with the car, huh? You don't well, go much nice. if you're on the road without a tool chest. No, no, no matter how hard you work on the car, you always want to be prepared for an emergency. There's always somebody there to help you, too. Yeah. I like how you upholstered this, and then you also covered up the hinges here. Yeah. That's a nice touch. So, Well, I hear you got another old car. What's yeah. that one? I've got a 56 Ford. I heard you bought that brand new. You still have it today. Yeah. Well, tell you what, let's go to break, and then we'll go out and take a look at the old Ford. What's in the Garage, presented by AutoGeek.net, is being brought to you by Pinnacle, the polish for perfectionists, available at AutoGeek.net, and by National Parts Depot, restoring American history with superior in-stock parts selection. And by Grit Guard, what's in your bucket, available at AutoGeek.net.